chickadees, welcome to part 2 of making an 1891 vest front jacket. We start off today with making the sleeves. For these I used the jacket sleeves from the Truly Victorian sleeve pack. I like how these sleeves look but I'm going to add more fullness to the top as they just aren't big enough for my liking. I pinned and gathered them into the armhole. After trying it on I had to cut the armhole back at the top as they weren't sitting quite high enough on my shoulders. I also cut out the sleeve facings but didn't sew these on until the end. I originally hadn't considered putting boning in until I watched a bodice video from Adelaide Beeman White which reminded me that most Victorian bodices have some sort of boning. I was also getting some wrinkling at the waist so I thought the boning would probably help with this. Casings are made from strips of fabric stitched around pre-cut lengths of boning. These are then stitched on top of the seams and the front darts. You can stitch one side by machine and then hand fell the other, but I found it a struggle trying to get the more curvy seams through my machine so did most of it by hand. I folded the bottom hem up by 1.5 inches and pressed. I then neatened the insides with a cross stitch around the front facings, armholes and hem. Once I was happy with the insides, I felt the lining into place. For the finishings I used some black bias tape to secure the raw edge underneath the collar piece and added a tacking stitch to the bottom of the collar as it had a tendency to flip up. I attached the sleeve bands I had cut earlier and slip stitched them into place. The last thing to do was to stitch on 11 buttons and then take out all of the basting stitches. And that's it! I love how this turned out and apart from the sleeves not being full enough there isn't anything I would change about this. There definitely isn't too much purple either. I hope you enjoyed this video and were inspired to create something from a Victorian pattern cutting book. If you would like to support me further why not consider donating to my coffee? The link for that and everything I have mentioned will be in the description. Whilst you're down there, a like, comment or subscribe would be really helpful to the channel. Remember to be kind to yourself and compassionate to others and I will see you in the next video.